Hi everyone. Today we're going to go over making a carnation. And I'm first going to start with the bud for a carnation, but before I do that, I want to show you how I make the bud. So I'm going to start with, um, I usually use a 22 gauge wire. Um, I like the weight of that. You can also use 20. So I'm going to start with a hook. And then just a little piece of gum paste. You can either use the color that you're using for your flower or just, just white. I'm going to start with a ball and then I'm going to finish it with making a little teardrop. I just took my finger and rolled one side in my palm. Then I'm going to take the hook and insert it into the tip of the teardrop. Don't worry that you ruin the tip. Um, it's not really going to matter in the end. But you do want the top of your bulb to be rounded rather than pointy. And that's why you would insert it into um, the point. So right now I'm just, I'm flattening this out. So it's going to be kind of like a little circle, a flat circle. And I took the excess off. Okay, so um, you can also make it smaller. If you want to make it smaller, you can just grab the excess and pinch down and then just flatten it out. So I made that smaller. And I'd like to start them out smaller anyway because of the size of the cutter. So there you have it. So if you compare, not too much difference. Okay. So I cut out, I pre-cut some of the petals and you want your gum paste to be rather thin. So I'm going to start out with three small petals and this is your first petal. There's a set. So we're just going to graduate from small, medium, and then to large. And I'm just going to roll out some gum paste just to show you how thin it should be. So I just, I'm just going to condition my gum paste with some Crisco, just making sure that it's pliable. Okay. What I'm going to do is 
I'm going to show you how you're going to soften your petals. And I'm just going to go around, soften those a bit. I'm using a smaller ball tool, and I have a larger one. I'll be using the larger one as well. So let's start with the small ball tool, and I'm just getting those petals just a little bit thin. And then I'm just going to go around, and I'm pressing down. And I'm just kind of fluffing them up. So see how I'm just pressing down and they're kind of getting nice and fluffy. And then what I'm going to do with this first petal is I'm going to wet the bud. insert it into the center and then I'm going to flatten it against this bud so it's gonna start looking like that this is the first step and then the second step is you're going to take one side and flip that side over. Then you're going to turn it around, wet the opposite side, and flip it to the opposite. Okay, so you have this would be considered your little your little bud. Okay, and then you're just going to just adjust it a little bit. Don't worry that it seems like it wants to pull from the bottom of your bud. That's okay as long as it's adhering to most of it. All right. I'm going to take my three other petals and soften those. Now keep in mind that the thicker your gum paste is, the harder it's going to want to um, soften up because it's so thick. It's going to be harder to get it down and press down with your ball tool if it's so thick. So just keep that in mind. The thinner it is, the easier it will want to work with you. Don't worry that they rip. It's no big deal. They're going to be scrunched up anyway. So I'm just going to go around and just pressing down back and forth and they're getting nice and fluffy So, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my water pen and get those centers wet and push them on up. And I'm just pulling them up around the center. So I'm just going around basically
And I'm just going to do the same thing. And you'll find it's getting easier, but you do want to have a area on the bottom kind of like where you want to space right underneath your ruffles. This is because when you get to the largest one, you're going to need a little bit of space for your calyx. So if you wanted a tiny little one, you could just leave it here and it would be a perfect tiny little, um, like a little uh, carnation bud. And that's fine. Um, it's really nice and fluffy, starting to take shape. But I'm gonna make a larger, the biggest one. So because these are bigger, I'm gonna start to use my larger ball tool and then you can also if you want to really get in there and ruffle it you can use your smaller one but initially I just want to get the ends of these smooth and soft and thin and just adhering at the bottom. So it's really starting to take shape.
if you tend to put too much water on them, just let them sit for about five minutes and that water should start to dry up a little bit. Okay. Starting to look a little bit more like a, a tiny little carnation. Okay, so <clears throat> here you have your carnation. You can start kind of getting it nice and full, but before you do that, you should put your calyx on it. So let's move on to that. And then you can really adjust your little petals. So for the calyx, I'm going to have, I'm going to use a larger calyx size. If you wanted just a tiny little bud, um, you would use a smaller one, obviously. So I'm going to start with a, a ball. And start with half of that size. Then you're going to want a large teardrop. OK. You might want to use some cornstarch for this as well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start with a Mexican hat technique, which is, or kind of looks like a witch hat. You would start out with a teardrop and start forming a cone. And then to get this a little bit flatter, there's you can use a little cell stick <clears throat> or a modeling stick to get this thinned out. Okay, you want to make sure that it fits inside of your cutter nicely. If you're using the small one, you're going to have to make a really, really small little cone just so that it can go down into, it'll fit down into your cutter. So, just going to cut that, peel that away. And then you're ha there you have it. So it's not going to be as thick, but I will show you what I mean by that. This is just the start. And you're just going to thin out your petals.
So then there's the other, the underside. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your cell stick or modeling stick and you're going to kind of open that up. All right, so it should look like that. And then you want to wet the inside. And you don't have to wet it all the way to the tip of your calyx. You just want to make sure that these, this coming out adheres well to your flower. So we're going to take that flower and we're going to insert that inside. We're just going to just make sure that it adheres well. And then the excess, we're going to pinch. So this is fairly a lot. I'm pinching, I'm going to end up pinching away a lot of this, but that's okay. So I'm just pinching and pulling, just gently pinching and pulling. And then I want to pinch maybe a quarter way down. And then I'm going to pull and tear away. So you don't want to do anything to this right now. Basically, this is how you want your calyx of um, your your carnation to look. Um, the car the calyx isn't like butt up against like it would be for a rose. It's farther down, and then you have, then you have your stem. And then from here, you can kind of start really manipulating the flower. That's why um, I'd rather have you. Um, make your calyx right when you finish your flower so that you can really manipulate how that flower looks and um, usually the calyx of a carnation is falling down it's kind of like you would see as um, a mom or something like that where it's actually it's just it's kind of hanging below <clears throat> I think that looks really good. If you would rather make a larger one, I would start with a larger bud and a heavier wire, say um, uh, a number 20 or an 18, just so it can handle um, the weight of all the gum paste. Um, this is a fairly thin wire. I think this is a 22, so it's very pretty flimsy um, but it basically just looks like a puffball like like a um, a carnation would and these make great filler flowers if you've got a space that you need to fill in your arrangement it's perfect for that even the smaller ones um, they just give a lot of depth and texture to your um, flower arrangement on your cake so there you have it a little carnation. So thank you for watching and have fun.